up everybody hope y'all doing good um uh, just wanted to talk to y'all about uh wanted to encourage you guys all right for all of those that are co a little confused out there um with like your gender and stuff like that i know that's a hot topic and i, I didn't really want to speak on it but i i gotta stand on the word of god and speak truth into lies right um okay look first jeremiah or jeremiah 1 5 says before i formed you in the womb i knew you so before i formed you in the womb i knew you before you were born i consecrated you i appointed you a prophet to the nations all right jeremiah was called and set apart to be a prophet and preach the word of god to the nations i believe we we're called all of us to do the same thing you know god god wants his word to go out because all his children you know all all the people are just lost and getting confused and been lied to by the enemy who tries to keep you away from God. And I believe God don't make mistakes. OK, so. That's what I want to encourage you with today, OK, because if you were born a male. Whether you feel like you were female in a man's body, that's that's not the truth. The truth is you were born a man and God don't make mistakes and he made you perfect, bro. He made you perfect the way you are. He made you for a purpose, okay? Um, if you're a woman, you feel like you're a man in a woman's body. You're not, okay? That's just, you're just confused. Again, it's confusion. It's a lie, I believe, that you are, you were born a female. And God don't make mistakes. He created you the way you are with a purpose, right? It, we're the ones who make mistakes. We're the ones who are confused at time, and we make choices and some of the choices I see people making to completely radically change who they were created to be is scary, man. Because that's like, see, that's a big decision. And from what I'm seeing, this hasn't been working out very well because that's not how you was created to be. So let me say this. It's okay to feel like you you might be in the wrong body. OK, but that's that's your feelings. Feelings can lie to you. That's not the truth of the matter. You were created. You're perfect in the skin that you're in. Right. God created you a certain way. And you're perfect, bro. Like you don't need to change all that. It's OK to be tomboyish as a girl. It's, it's OK to be a little bit more feminine as a dude. You still be a man. It's cool. It's like it's OK. Right. Um and another worry of mine is like, because God created us to be in community and unity, right? And I think a lot of people are just doing it for that because you want to fit in. And, and the lies are speaking so loud and the confusion is so much right now that it's easy to fall into that of wanting to fit in somewhere. And because you, you already identify and feel a certain way about yourself that you're going to follow that crowd or or that community so you can feel a sense of belonging because look the word of god tells us this man look oh yeah proverbs the proverbs not psalms hold on all right so psalms 133 right it says behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity Behold how good and pleasant it is. When brother. So we're created for unity. We're always going to be looking for somewhere where we can fit in and where we we feel that sense of community, that love for one another, you know, looking out for each other. The, the devil's the one that comes and brings division. The devil's the one that comes and brings confusion. He lies to us. He tries to keep us away from the truth of God. He tries to keep us away from, from the things of God. He tries to keep us away from the community of God, right? And, um, like, if that's what's going on, if there's like a demon behind what, what you're going through, well, right now in Jesus' name, you be free from that. I cast that out. Bind that and cast it out in Jesus' name. Get rid of that. Right? Put that behind you, man. And, and, and be like the person you were created to be. Walk with your head held high and be proud of who you are. You don't have to go cut your thing off. You don't have to go change your gender. You don't have to cut your boobs off, ladies. Like, you don't have to do none of that. You're cool the way you were created, bro. And if nobody told you that, well, I'm telling you right now, you're amazing. You're perfect. You're fearfully and wonderfully made by a perfect God who does not make mistakes. You have purpose. 
okay? You, like, <laughs> don't let nobody or anything uh, push you down, keep you down. Be you. Like, if they don't like you for who you are, it's okay. Like, not everybody's going to like you, right? Um, let me tell you something else. All right, so Proverbs, the book of wisdom. Proverbs 19, 2 says, desire without knowledge is not good. Whoever makes haste with his feet misses his way. And I don't want y'all to miss your way, man. I don't want y'all to make these life decisions of changing who you are, your gender, and all these things. And then there's no going back. Like, it may be your desire, but desire without knowledge is not good is what the word says. So, man funny because i made a little video earlier and there was so much more i said and there's always so much in my head going on because this is like sensitive stuff and i know it's real man and it, it people's feelings and I, I, some of y'all gonna get hurt and some of y'all gonna hate what i'm telling you but i gotta stand on truth okay i'm sorry i believe this is the truth right here i believe god's word is true i believe god is true and I'm going to stand on that. And I, I believe biology says who you are. And I believe God don't make mistakes. And he created you perfectly. So I, for one, I'm sorry I can't lie to y'all. If if you're a dude and you feel like a girl and you want me to tell you you're a girl, I'm not going to lie to you. It goes against my conscience. It goes against everything I believe in. I can't do it. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay? If you're a female, you feel like a dude. I mean, that's cool. But if you want me to tell you that you're a guy, I can't do it. Again, I'm sorry. It goes against my conscience. And I believe you you, you were created perfectly, the way you're supposed to be, for a purpose. Now, God can redeem anything, even our bad choices, right? And he can turn it for our good. So, like, here's the encouragement, too, man. All right, don't. How do I say it? Like, well, look, scratch that. <laughs> Come to the foot of the cross, bro. That's what it is right there. Because at the foot of the cross, there's male, female, Jew, Gentile. Everybody is equal. We're all sinners. We all make mistakes. We all believe lies. We all, um, you know, mess up. The world is broken. The world is crazy. The devil's running amok. He's lying and confusing people. And um, I just want to encourage y'all to stand on the truth of who you really are. All right. Like, and believe me, God don't make mistakes again. I said it. I'll say it again. And come to the foot of the cross, man. Come to Jesus. Because right there is the evil, uh, even playing field. We're all, we're all equal. I, there ain't nobody better than another person. Nobody. We were all created in his image. And we're all his children. He's out there seeking us, man. He don't want us separated from him. That's why Jesus came, right? And lived the life that we couldn't live, perfect life. He died to death and took the punishment that we deserved so that we wouldn't have to pay that cost, so that we could be reunited and so that we can live with him the way it was meant to be. Anyway, man, I love y'all. I hope that encourages somebody out there. If you're confused, it's cool, man. We get confused about a lot of things in life. But just don't make no harsh decisions, right? Um, without truly, like, thinking about it and digging into it, man. Like, I would say don't do it at all. Change your mindset and, and, and like be happy. Be, you know, understand who you are, who you were created to be. I love y'all, man.